Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video I just wanted to explain to you the game which is played between William Steinitz versus Kurt Von Bar de Leben. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing properly. If I'm pronouncing wrong, please forgive me. So this game played in the year 1895 uh, in Hengsting and the name of the game is the Battle of Hengsting. So Steinitz starts with the move e4 and his opponent played the move e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, the Italian game, and bishop c5. So the name of the opening is Daco Piano, and c pawn c3, knight f6, pawn d4. Now, of course, this is the pawn sacrifice line, which gives the white a little bit of initiative. And e takes d4, c takes d4, bishop b4 check now in this position white played the move knight c3 but the bishop d2 which uh, plays nowadays that bishop d2 not the bishop b4 bishop d2 is the best one to block check. Okay. but okay knight here d5 this is uh, again this is a wrong move from the black sand i think the knight takes e4 makes more sense just because of course over here there's a sacrificial line as well that if you become a little bit more hungry, then what will happen? For example, he just castled. Okay. And after knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. Of course, over here, you would like to play the move like queen b3. It is a sacrificial line. Or if you just play the move like bishop takes c3, pawn takes c3, knight takes c3, then the queen e1 just uh, picks off your, yeah, just because the check and picks off the knight. So you cannot play over there. So knight c3, d5, e takes d5, knight takes d5, castle, bishop e6. Now bishop e6 is a bad move. In this position, I think that he should play, he should consider the move like bishop takes c3, pawn takes c3, and then he just went for the castling. And in this whole game, you will see that how white just dominate the game just because his opponent cannot able to castle in the game bishop e6 bishop g5 of course in this position the best move is uh, rook e1 i believe just uh, pins after rook e1 if uh, he do some odd moves he probably can just capture the knight bishop g5 bishop e7 Bishop takes d5, bishop takes d5, knight takes d5, queen takes d5, bishop takes e7. Of course, the king cannot take it uh, just because he will lose the castling rights. Knight takes e7, rook e1. Now, black cannot castle just because he will just fix up the e7 knight. So that's why the pawn f6. So what's an idea behind pawn f6? He just wanted to move the king on f6, uh, f7 and disconnect the rooks. But queen e2. I believe in this position, the best move is simple. Just play the move queen a4, check. And after c6, you can just play the move queen a3, which uh, attacks or create a pressure on the knight. But after queen a4, I believe the best move is king d8. Queen e2, queen d7, rook a c1. So basically just uh, keeping an eye on c7 pawn. And c6, there's a bad one. C6 is not a good move. I think black has to continue which, for which black making a move. That why he played the move F6. Why he played the move queen back? Just because to break the pin. So just play the move king, e, king F7 and just break the pin. That's it. So if he plays the move king F7, so over here the best line is knight D2, rook H8, queen D3, pawn C6, Queen takes at seven, knight g6, queen h5, just because over here there is a threat of uh, rook h8 and uh, queen trap. So queen h5, rook takes e1, rook takes e1, queen takes d4, knight f3, attacking on the queen. And after queen d5, just simple queen takes d5 and over here the pawn can take it. But of course, those moves are uh, not even considered over here. After c6, now, over here, you can pause the video that which which is the best move for white. You can find it out. And those who wanted to enjoy the showdown, the best move over here is 
quantify. Now, what's an idea behind it? This is what we call creating a space or the square vacation. That's we called. That why he sacrifices his pawn just because he want to play his knight on d4, or you can say these are what we call the clearance. C takes d5, knight d4 as expected, king f7, knight e6. Now of course, the pain you can see that this knight now is just sitting on the black's neck, and. Just because it's like an octopus knight, you know, still controlling the zombie spears. And the final mistake, the final mistake which is made, rook h c eight. So the best move over here is simple knight c six. Now you can pause the video over here uh, and find out the best move for white in this position. That which is the best move, and uh, from here onwards, the how the attack flows. Against the black, it's uh, really beautiful. So, queen here, queen g4. What's an idea behind it? He just want first of all is attacking on g7 square, of course. But the threat is also the move knight g5. And after knight g5, you can say it's a check, as well as it's uh, attacking on the queen. But he played the move pawn g6, knight g5 check, king e8, protecting queen. Rook takes e7. Of course, in this position, if you just capture the rook with your king, then once again you will just play the move like rook check, rook check, and the king moves back, and then knight check. It's uh, hilarious. And if you takes with the queen, then the rook will take it. The rook takes. So the rook takes e8, rook takes e8, and queen takes e8. Uh, of course, there's a uh, mate is not possible just because. There's a check. Rook takes here, check. Queen takes uh, rook takes here, and queen takes here. It's a check. So black don't have a time to make a background checkmate, and of course the white has a knight. But no problem. He saw that. He said, "No, I don't want to do it." Yes. And immediately you will think that okay, just picks up the queen. That's it. But the point over here is, if you just picks up the queen with any of a piece. Simple rook takes c1 is checkmate. Rook f7 check. Of course, the knight is protecting. So again, the, if the queen takes, then simple rook takes. Rook takes c8. King g8. Rook g7 check. Same idea. Now the king cannot take this rook just because of queen takes d7. It's a check again. King h8. Rook takes h7. Now over here, black resigned. But uh, Steinitz shows that uh, from in this position, if the black wants to continue, and the best possible moves, oh, but still this is a checkmate in ten moves. If you want to find, you can just uh, pause the video and you can just find it out. And otherwise, I will just show it to you here. Once again, rook g7. So the whole point over here is now there's no h pawn. So if you will play. Uh, which is the continuation that uh, if you just play over here, then there's a check, rook check, king h8, queen check, queen h4 check, king takes g7, h7 check, f8, h8 check, e7. Now, all of the moves are forced. G7. E8, G8, E7, F7, check, D8, F8 check, Queen E8, Knight F7 check, King D7, and Queen D6 is checked. That's for today. I hope you liked the video, and if you wanted to suggest anything, so please comment box is open for you. Thanks for watching.